Welcome to this video titled, Receiving Medical Bills When You Have Medicaid. Getting swamped with bills is very frustrating, especially with money being tight. As a Medicaid member, it is important to understand your Medicaid rights and responsibilities with medical bills. This video discusses steps to take when receiving a medical bill from your Medicaid provider. Receiving a bill from your provider when you have Medicaid is often referred to as Balance Billing. Topics for this video include, one is Balance Billing, referring to the Medicaid Member Guide, steps to take when receiving a medical bill, bills you may have to pay or have to pay, copay information, third-party liability in Medicaid, and retroactive coverage. What is Balance Billing? Balance billing occurs when a Medicaid provider bills you the difference between the amount they charge and the amount Medicaid approves. For example, if a provider charges $200 for a service and the Medicaid approved amount is $100, the provider is not allowed to balance bill you the remaining $100 of the covered service. Referring to the Medicaid Member Guide, become familiar with the Utah Medicaid Member Guide. This guide helps to explain your Medicaid benefits, rights and responsibilities, copays, Medicaid card, managed care plans, well child exams. This guide can be found on the Utah Medicaid website. That URL is medicaid.utah.gov. Hover over the members menu and select resources. Under Get Medicaid Education Materials, click Learn More. Under Covered Services, select a Medicaid Member Guide link either in English or Spanish. Steps to take when receiving a medical bill. The medical bills when you have Medicaid section in the Member Guide has helpful information on what to do when you receive a medical bill. For example, if you receive a bill for medical care, you should call your provider's office and ask if they have billed Medicaid. If you still have problems with the bill, call a health program representative at 1-866-608-9422. Bills you may have to pay. You may have to pay the bill for a covered service if you have a plan and see a provider not in your plan. Receive services and do not show your Medicaid card. Or break your appointment. Bills you have to pay. You will have to pay the bill for services. When you are not eligible for Medicaid. After filing a hearing, the claim is denied. When you receive a non-covered service. If you choose to have services that Medicaid does not cover, sign a form before the service that documents. The received services, including the frequency and duration. You understand that Medicaid will not pay for the service and the amount you have to pay for the service. Copayments. Refer to your Welcome to Medicaid letter for copay information. Before collecting a copayment, your provider should confirm that the service and member have a copayment requirement. Ask for a receipt for the collected copayment. You are responsible for keeping copayment receipts in case of delayed billings by providers or discrepancies. If a copayment is not collected at the time of service, the provider may bill you for the copay. Third party liability in Medicaid. Medicaid is not the first payer of a medical bill when third party liability, known as TPL, exists, such as other health insurance. Your provider should bill all responsible third parties first and then Medicaid last. Medicaid will not make an additional payment if the amount received from a third party is equal to or greater than the amount Medicaid would pay. In that case, the TPL payment is considered payment in full. Suppose your provider receives a third party payment and does not bill Medicaid for the balance because they anticipate the Medicaid payment to be zero. In that case, the TPL payment is considered payment in full, and they should not bill you. For additional information, please refer to the Other Insurance or Medicare section of the Member Guide. Retroactive Coverage 
Most Medicaid programs allow you to request coverage for medical services for up to three months before the month you file a Medicaid application. If you receive medical, dental, or mental health services and subsequently become eligible for retroactive coverage, you may return to each provider with a Medicaid identification card for the month the service was provided. A provider who has already rendered services may subsequently choose to accept Medicaid as payment in full or refuse to seek Medicaid payment because the patient had not been determined eligible for Medicaid at the time of service. If the provider accepts Medicaid, Medicaid may pay for the service. If the provider refuses Medicaid, then you are responsible for the charges. Thank you for watching this video on receiving medical bills when you have Medicaid. For any problems or questions regarding medical bills, call a health program representative at 1-888-608-8422.